What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy to back with another video. Namaste guys, namaste. Welcome back. Let's check out this video. I'm going to react to who are the seven immortals as per Hindu scriptures. Immortals, for those who don't know, it's those people that don't die, right? Like, you know, they, they can't die. They just continue living. That's mad. That's crazy. But what I've seen lately from the Hindu text and everything, nothing is crazy. Nothing is mad. You days possibility man vast possibilities man you might think it's not real or you might think it's not possible but it is so let's dive into this video and let's see what exactly it is all about i appreciate you all don't forget to subscribe guys just hit the subscribe button much love guys let's go puran's ramayana and mahabharat describes seven long-lived personalities in hindu pantheon it is said that these eight immortals still live on earth for several different reasons Specifically, Chiranjeevis are those born humans but blessed or cursed with extremely long life. Let's know about wow. these seven great human beings who are believed to be alive on earth today. Vibhishan, he was Ravan's brother. Vibhishan helped Lord Ram in his battle with Ravan. He was later crowned king of Lanka after Ram killed Ravan. Vibhishan became a Chiranjeevi to be able to maintain good deeds and righteousness in Lanka and guide people in the path of Dharma. Parshuram, he is the sixth avatar of Lord Vishnu and is known as the master of all Astras, Shastras and divine weapons. Kalki Puran writes wow. that he will reappear at the time of the end of Kali Yuga. Parshuram will guide Kali's avatar through penance to receive the celestial weapons necessary to save humanity. Bali, Bali also known as Mahabali, was Asur king and the virtuous emperor of the three worlds. During Vaman's avatar, Lord Vishnu blessed him to be a Chiranjeevi. Every year on the day of Onam, he descends to the land of heaven to visit his people, those of the Kerala region. Lord Hanuman. Lord Hanuman was a true devotee of Lord Ram. It is said that Lord Hanuman requested to stay on earth as long as people worship Lord Ram. It is believed that Lord Hanuman visits the places where Lord Ram's name is taken. Whoever remembers Lord Hanuman of his pure heart and soul will always overcome the miseries and obstacles of life. Vyas Ved Vyas was a great sage born in the later stage of Treta Yug and said he had lived the Dwapar Yug and the current Kali Yug. The sage like any other immortal is said to have a lifetime of this Manavantara or till the end of this Kali Yug. Ved Vyas was the writer of Mahabharat. It can also be debated that Ved Vyas is not only a being but a group of scholars who worked on the Vedas. Ved Vyas oh. literally meant the divisor of the Vedas. That said, however, it is widely believed that he was a single human being. There is always a Ved Vyas who lives through a Manvantara and therefore he is immortal through this Manvantara. Kripacharya. Kripa was the Kul Guru of the Kurus during Mind the Mahabharata. Blowing. Before Drona, he fought against the Kauravs during the Mahabharat war and was one of the few surviving people after Mahabharat war. He later trained Parikshit, grandson of Arjun and son of Abhimanyu in the art of war. He was known for his impartiality and loyalty to his kingdom. Ashwatthama. He was the son of Drona, a great warrior. Drona performed severe penances for many years to please Lord Shiv in order to obtain a son who had the same courage as Lord Shiv. Ashwatthama in the avatar of one of the eleven Rudras, he acted out of cowardice to avenge his father's murder, which resulted in a curse of immortality. Ashwatthama and Kripa are known to be the only survivors who are still alive and really fought in the Kurukshetra war. He could be immortal, but Lord Krishna cursed him because his body was covered with wounds and ulcers that would never heal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my god. Yo, that one is a real curse. That one right there is a huge curse. I mean, if your body is covered with wounds and arrows and then now you're cursed like they won't heal and then you're cursed with immortality. It means it's, probably you're going to be in pain 
um, forever. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong there, but that is just, that is a lot to, to take in and to understand. So basically here, these immortals uh, who are believed to be immortals are immortals either when you are blessed or cursed with, you know, the effect of being immortal. And uh, we saw one who chose to stay, uh, you know, down here with the people that will be praising, uh, you know, the gods and all that. So I guess sometimes you can choose that, but it was given as a blessing at the end of the day. Okay, like you can do this year, you know, and most of them with the curses, I think if you are cursed to stay here, I mean, you're going to see ev everyone in your timeline move. And if you are a god, it means, I mean, you, you, your god's just going to, everything is going to be boring for you. It's going to be different in a way, you know. And I mean, that's huge. That's really, really huge. And for me to fully comprehend this and understand this is um, a huge chunk of just my brain, you know, just up there trying to get this all together. But otherwise, man, you know, it's been a long ride for me. I've been trying to understand all this, and it's been interesting, like really, really interesting. I've never been interested in anything like this. So you guys continue to just, you know, give me more videos to react. You can tell me what you think in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure. You can see me. I'm checking them out. And also, you know, uh, hopefully very soon I'm going to order uh, a, a, a Bhagavad Gita so that, you know, I really want to check it out, read and I just get more knowledge, you know. Much love to you guys. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't leave without doing that. And I will see you next time. Take care. Peace.